Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session part 2 on Green's theorem. In the first session, we have verified Green's theorem over a straight line and parabola. In this session, we are going to solve some more problems. Verify Green's theorem for a given curve where C is the region bounded by the lines x equal to 0, y equal to 0 and x plus y equal to 1. Step 1, we have to identify our P and Q. So, from the question, it is very clear. This is P dx plus Q dy. Therefore, my P is 3x square minus 8y square and Q is 4y minus 6xy. Next, we have to draw the figure. For this, we have to take the given regions. We have three regions, x equal to 0, y equal to 0 and x plus y equal to 1. We know that x equal to 0 is y axis. Similarly, y equal to 0 is x axis. Now, we have to draw the line x plus y equal to 1. For this, we go as usual the table technique. For us, it is given x equal to 0. This is one point and the other point is y equal to 0. Now, substitute x equal to 0 here. We get y equal to 1 and similarly substitute y equal to 0, we get x equal to 1. Therefore, the straight line x plus y equal to 1 passes through the points 0, 1 and 1, 0. Done students. So, we have found the points. Now, let us draw the diagram. You can see the type diversion. First, we draw x-axis, then y-axis. We have three points here, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. This is going to be my origin, 0, 0. I am taking a random point. Next, I am marking A, that is 1, 0. Similarly, B, that is going to be 0, 1. Now, the straight line x plus y equal to 1 passes through these two points. And x-axis is y equal to 0, y-axis is x equal to 0. Now, we will draw the line x plus y equal to 1. From this, we identify this is my region, the closed region. Next, we have to shade this. Now, for Green's theorem, in the RHS, we are going to do double integration. So, either I can draw a horizontal strip, make excess variable or I can draw a vertical strip such that y as variable. It is up to you. You can do whatever you like. I am taking a vertical strip. A vertical strip means we remember bottom to top. Now, to calculate LHS, we have to integrate each line segments. So, we have to mark the directions in anti-clockwise. This is the final diagram, students. Next step 3, we have to write Green's theorem. As usual, first we evaluate RHS, then we go for LHS. Now, to evaluate RHS, we have to find dou Q by dou X minus dou P by dou Y and the limits for the region R. We know P and Q. Now, we are going to differentiate P with respect to Y. So, write in this table format and write what is your LHS, RHS. This is very useful. You never do mistake because sometime in a hurry, we do dou P by dou X, dou Q by dou Y. This is wrong. Okay. So, we should be careful when we solve the problem. From the RHS, we know we have to find dou P by dou Y dou q by dou x. When I differentiate this with respect to y partially, we will be getting 16y and dou q by dou x, we get minus 6y. Next, we have to find dou q by dou x minus dou p by dou y. That is minus 6y minus of minus 16y, we get 10y. Therefore, my RHS is double integral over R 10y dy dx. Since I fix my strip as a vertical strip in the figure, it goes from bottom to top. Here, y is my variable and x is constant. Now, let us go to the figure and fix the limits. Taking the vertical strip, it moves from bottom to top. Therefore, my y limits are y equal to 0 at the bottom and at the top, it hits the line x plus y equal to 1. But I need y. So, y equal to 1 minus x. So, the y limits are going to be 0 to 1 minus x and x limit, we can see the minimum value is 0 and the maximum value of x is 1 in the given figure. So, x limit is going to be 0 to 1. Now, limits are done. We have to integrate the RHS. We can write the limits. Integrating this, we get integral 0 to 1, 10 into y square by 2 
zero to one minus x dx. Simplifying this, we get pi into integral zero to one one minus x all square. Here I can integrate this in two way. We remember a x plus b all power n integration is going to be a x plus b all power n plus one divided by a into n plus one. So in this problem, my a value is minus one. C here minus x. B value is one. So if I do this formula, the integration is going to be five into one minus x whole cube divided by a value is minus one. N plus one. N is two. N plus one is three. So one minus x whole cube divided by minus one into three integral zero to one. So it is going to be minus five by three. When you apply the upper limit, it is going to be zero. When you apply the lower limit, one minus zero is one. So we have minus one. Minus into minus plus. Therefore, my RHS is five by three. You can see the typed version. Now, sometimes some student would have solved the problem by expanding this one minus x whole square. That is also correct. You can see here. I can expand this using a minus b whole square formula. Now, integrating this. We get x x cube by three minus two x square by two zero to one two two get cancel. When you apply the upper limit one plus one by three minus one lower limit is zero. So one one get cancel. We get five by three. I prefer this method because in LHS we are going to do a similar kind of integration which involves a x plus b all power n dx. Now we have to go for LHS. It is a closed curve p dx plus q dy. Now let us see the diagram. So it has three straight lines: o to a, a to b, and then b to o. So I can split this closed curve integral over c. P dx plus Q dy as three lines along O A, along A B, along B O. This is my LHS. So for each straight line, we are going to find the integral, and then we add all the three, we'll get the LHS. Let us go. For this, P dx plus Q dy is important. Go to the step one, copy paste here. Now along O A, my concern is along O A. As usual, we have to see the image. It is very important. My equation is y equal to zero, so dy become zero. Here y is fixed, therefore the limits is going to be x. You can see the direction it is moving from O to A. So my limits are x equal to zero to x equal to one because it is moving in this direction. Therefore, my equation is y equal to zero, dy is equal to zero. Limits are x equal to one. Now substitute this here. If y and dy zero, this term is completely zero, and this is going to be zero. Therefore, my p dx plus q dy is simply three x square dx. And along O A, we know the limit zero to one. Integrating this, we get three x cube by three zero to one. Now three three get cancel. We get the answer one. Along O A, the answer is one. Next, we have to find along A B. We should be little careful with A B. See the figure. Along A B, the direction is from A to B. Here the equation is x plus y equal to one. Either you convert the problem in terms of x or in terms of y. I am going to convert in terms of x. Therefore, y equal to one minus x. This is my fixed line. So dy is going to be minus dx. Along A B, I have fixed y. So x is going to vary. See here, the direction is from A to B. X value here is one, and here is zero. Therefore, my x limit is from one to zero. Now, y equal to one minus x, dy equal to minus dx, and x limits are from one to zero. Now we have to substitute this in p dx plus q dy. So three x square minus eight into one minus x square dx plus four into one minus e plus four into one minus x minus six x one minus x. Here dy is minus dx. Now we have to simplify this. So everywhere we have dx. I can take this dx common. 3x square minus 8 into 1 minus x whole square. Now I can multiply this minus inside. Minus 4 into 1 minus x plus 6 into x minus x square because this is very easy for us to integrate. 
now pdx plus qdy is also ready we have to go for the integration so in the rhs do you remember students i said ax plus b all power n dx integration is ax plus b all power n plus 1 in the denominator we have a into n plus 1 because we have two terms here 1 minus x whole square and 1 minus x we can use this formula now integrating this will be getting 3x cube by 3 minus 8 1 minus x whole square is 1 minus x whole cube by minus 1 into 3 similarly 4 into 1 minus x integration is 1 minus x whole square by minus 1 into 2 plus 6 into x integration is x square by 2 minus x cube by 3 and the limits are going to be 1 to 0 now we have to apply the upper and lower limits when you apply upper limits now this term and this terms get zero so only we have this is minus into minus plus we'll have 8 by 3 1 minus 0 plus 4 by 2 1 minus 0 so this can be written as 8 by 3 plus 2 next when we apply the lower limit this two terms get zero so we get 3 by 3 plus 6 into 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 now we have to write everything 8 by 3 plus 2 minus 1 plus 6 into 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 so 8 by 3 plus 2 minus 1 minus 6 if we take lcm will be getting 3 minus 2 so 6 6 get cancel we get 8 by 3 plus 2 minus 1 minus 1 therefore the answer is simply 8 by 3 now finally we have along the line bo let us go into the diagram along the line bo the direction is from b to o here the fixed line is x equal to 0 so dx equal to 0 since here x is fixed my limits are going to be y so y equal to 1 because the direction is from b to o here y limit is 1 and here it is 0 therefore y equal to 1 to y equal to Zero. Now, since x equal to zero and dx is equal to zero, this term is completely zero. Here, this is zero, so it is going to be simply four y dy. So integration is going to be very easy. Integrating with respect to y, we get four y square by two. Two to get cancel, so we have two into y square by two. The limits are one to zero. Now substituting. the limits we get 2 into 0 minus 1 that is minus 2 now we have to add all the three values my lhs is along oa ab and bo that is 1 plus 8 by 3 minus 2 so 8 minus 1 when you take lcm 8 minus 3 by 3 we get 5 by 3 therefore my lhs is 5 by 3 we found our rhs 5 by 3 and my lhs is also 5 by 3 hence Green's theorem is verified. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.